I wanted to share this matter with you, which is interesting. I have just come from a retreat of many days of meditation, and it just felt like I was calm. And as I woke up every morning, I did my meditation, and I went through the calmness of the day as if I could handle anything, and anything in the world would show up, and it was just kind of like let go, like a Teflon effect. It wouldn't even stick. And amazingly enough, I didn't do, I didn't have time to do meditation for a couple of days. And this morning I woke up as if that agitation was there. And the agitation does not necessarily represent anything. It's just a rap agitation that is there. And then I watched my head, my brain, my thought process, um, as they looked for things that were there to pick on, as if I needed something for the agitation to kind of uh, get stuck to, go forward and attach itself to, where the same issues and the same conversations and the same matters were there the week before. So I wonder, what is the difference between the times that I'm calm and open and um, kind of flexible with things that are happening and look at those from a perspective of all is well, or that there's an agitation that is looking for a problem to solve, looking for things that are out there to make a point at it. So I realized also that a lot of people I work with, um, they look at things, with, for example, they wake up one day in their relationship and they look at all the things that have been there the day before, the way before that for years, but today they're going to pick at it. They're going to say how much they don't like it, which on another day, same things are there, but they're flexible with it. What's the difference? The same thing can happen at work. You may be at the same type of job for many, many years. One day, it's intolerable. Another day, it's as if all is well, I can handle it. So it is important to know that the way we are with our world either makes it or breaks it. the way we attend to the world as is. It creates a space, whether we could go with an openness to clear things, handle things, or we can go with an agitation, with an attitude, with a chip on our shoulder, with a sense of entitlement of why should it be this way and resisting it, and then changing it from a resistance place versus changing and adapting and from a place that is like, it's all, it's all well. And I'm gonna, you know, co-create or shift or adapt to what's happening or even change what's happening. So they come from, it's almost like the energy you come from dealing with things. It could either be a soft flow or it could be um, a fight. You get to choose. I was privy to look at, I wake up sometimes with a fighting mode and then I have to take care of myself to calm down that area, that agitation that showed up. And there's nothing wrong with it. And you don't always have to look at where is it showing up from. It's great to listen to it and see where is it coming from. And maybe if there's something you really need to handle, take care of yourself in some way so that the agitation is released and handled. On the other hand, it's also important to see if that agitation belongs to a certain matter. Just because it's here, it might also cling to all matters in life and create more of a problem than it is just because the agitation clung to something. So be aware of that. And the more that you can let go of the ag agitation and allow it to be handled with whatever the actual issue is, then it doesn't have to kind of spread over everything in all areas of your life uh, during the day. Thank you.